question seven from the first paper in the 2014 National Five. A little two mark question. There's a graph shown here, a parabola. It states its equation with an unknown coefficient. And it says for two marks, what is this a? What is the number that multiplies x squared? Well, it's a standard technique. You've got an equation. The equation of that curve is y equals a x squared. That's an equation that must be true for every point that belongs on it. If a point, if the coordinates of a point don't fit that equation, they don't lie in that curve. If the coordinates of a point do fit the equation, then they do lie in that curve. So knowing that that lies on that graph, that means those numbers must fit this. See, there's three unknowns here. You can only find one unknown. You can find two unknown if you've got two independent equations, each with two unknowns. But if you've only got one equation, you can only find an answer if there's only one unknown. So you have to know everything else. Well, x and y stand for the coordinates. There's an x, there's a y. Put them in. So if I use the point negative 3, 45, the y is 45. I don't know what a is. The x is negative 3. I need to square it. There's a little equation with only one unknown. I can solve it. Negative 3 squared is 9. So it says 9a is 45. I'll just write it the other way around. 9 times a is 45. So that means a must be 45 divided by 9. Now you won't need to spell that out because it's only a two mark question. So 9 into 45 goes 5. And the marking here was just as you would expect. Knowing to substitute that point in and working out the answer. Here's another one where it says, if you get the answer, if you just state that answer without working, you'd get two out of two, but I wouldn't assume that. I would always just go through that working first of all. You know, whenever there's a substitution, I'd put the substitution in. And then maybe from there, you could just jump straight to the answer.